Okay, so we know that integers are any positive or negative whole numbers, including zero. So if I draw a number line, if this is zero, what happens when you move to the right of a number line? Positive. Yes, numbers are positive. Are they getting bigger or smaller? They're increasing, right? They're getting larger. Anything to the left of the number line? Negative. negative. Good. And the numbers are getting smaller. So if we look at negative 3 and negative 1, which number is larger, negative 3 or negative 1? Which number would be larger? Negative 1 is larger. So we would say that negative 3 is less than negative 1. As you move closer to 0 from here, numbers are increasing, they're getting larger, okay? On the other hand, if we have positive 1 and positive 3, which one's larger when we're on the positive side? Positive 3 is larger, so 1 is less than 3. Good. We're adding integers, okay? So if we want to add um, negative 3, we start at negative 3, and we want to add negative 2, which way would you move? If I want to add a negative, what happens? Move to the right or left? Good. Adding negative 2, and we end up at negative 5. So negative 3 plus negative 2 equals negative 5. What about this one? Try this one. Um, let's do negative 1 plus negative 5. So where do I start? Where do you start? Negative 1, and I'm adding a negative again, so what happens? Moving to the right or left? How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we end up at negative 6. Okay, so when we're multiplying integers, if you have two negatives multiplied together, the result will be positive. You should be copying this down. If you have two positives put together, the result will be what? Good. Two positives. They're both positive integers. The answer is going to be positive. If you have a negative multiplied by a positive, the answer will be? Negative. What if you have a positive multiplied by a negative? Does the order matter? No. Think about it. With multiplication, what is 2 times 5? What's 2 times 5? What's 5 times 2? What's negative 2 times 5? What's 5 times negative 2? The order does not matter when you're multiplying. You need to make sure you look at the correct sign and include it as well. Notice, when the two signs are the same, so if they're either both negatives or both positives, the answer will always be positive. If the two signs are different, so if one's a negative and one's a positive, Okay, one's a negative, one's a positive. You're always going to result in a negative. That's one way you can remember this. If the question looks something like this, so for example, if I write this, what operation is that? If you have a number in front of a bracket, yes. Multiplication, good. This can also be written as negative 3 times 5, or it can be written as negative 3 times 5 negative 15. Let's look at some division problems. If I have negative 36 divided by negative 6. Okay, I'm going to put this in brackets so that we separate the two symbols. I can also write this as negative 36 divided by negative 6, right? What does this also represent? Two negatives equal what? So this also could be written as 36 divided by 6, correct? What is the final answer? Good. Made with DoodleCast Pro.